data sharing as we all experience today is completely broken. I'm either traveling to different physical offices, branches, getting printouts of my own data to put it together in a folder that I then use to share with any other educational, financial, health service provider, or I'm running around to different digital portals, taking PDF downloads of these statements, and then uploading those statements or scan copies to service providers in order to access any socioeconomically important service out there. Not just that, hundreds of millions of individuals are actually giving out their username and password to highly sensitive bank accounts and health accounts and telecom accounts and taxation accounts just so that that data could be shared in a manner that they think is convenient, minus all of the hassle of what I just described in the physical world. But that's horribly not secure and compromises privacy severely. And that's where the power of the account aggregator system steps in. Because it now gives you, the individual, you, the small business, complete control, complete and absolute control of your data. Let's look at an example from the world of money management, which as we know today exists amongst reams of paperwork and spreadsheets. So an app like Fi attempts to give me insights on the back of data that would be shared via the account aggregator ecosystem. Fi is a financial information user, and they want to offer me insights like what have been my spending patterns over the last few weeks. And in order for them to do that, they need to plug in to the account aggregator ecosystem. Out here, I'm going to use one money, which is one of the account aggregators, to register and facilitate this transaction. So I register with one money, and once I've done that, they will then discover where all my data resides, what all bank accounts it resides in. So out here, what shows up is a list of banks that contain access to my data. And once I've authorized, saying, OK, I want to go ahead and link my Access Bank accounts, Access Bank then authenticates that it is indeed Siddharth that is authorizing this linkage and no one else. And once that linkage is authorized, I now proceed to actually granting consent. I review what data I want to share, for what purpose, for what time period, and if that's OK with me, I then go ahead and say yes for that data to be transferred. And in real time, Phi now gets access to my financial information and can apply their analytics to show me various insights on the back of my spending patterns and many more. But this is just one example. Let's take a look at the world of credit, which today is rife with inequality. Tens of millions of businesses, hundreds of millions of individuals are shut out because the entire system is based on the back of physical collateral. And if we need to invert this paradigm to one based on information capital, then you need to give people control of their data. Out here, I'm going to show you an example of lending card which is a lender that's going to use the account aggregator system to give you an unsecured business loan on the back of your cash flow data. Once I've registered with Lending Cart, I give them my demographic information, I give them what loan I'm looking for and other attributes, I then proceed with the account aggregator setup. In this case, I want to link and share data from my HDFC bank account. So HDFC authenticates me again I'm using the one money account aggregator. And once that authentication is successful, they will go ahead and tell me if I can grant consent or not. So out here, I can review what data, again, I'm sharing from what accounts, for what purpose, how long will that data be stored, and other critical attributes that make this an informed consent experience for me. Since this looks OK, I proceed with it. Lending card receives my data, underwrites my cash flows, and returns back a loan offer in real time, which, if the loan offer is acceptable, I can proceed with setting up my repayments, digitally signing the agreement, and actually getting access to this credit. Now that I've shared my data with a few places, I want to have the ability to go back and view where all this data resides, and maybe even revoke some of my consents. So that's where I can log into my OneMoney account aggregator application. 
and once I've logged in, actually view a dashboard of where all my consents are and possibly revoke those so that I'm in, at all points in time, complete control over the data that I have shared. Let's take a look at another example using FinView, which is another account aggregator. In this case, I'm going to a departmental store. I want to buy a consumer durable, a home connected system, and I want it to be financed. So that's where a lender like DMI Finance, who's offering consumer durable loans, steps in. The agent in the departmental store who's using the tablet that you see on screen essentially facilitates this process. So I decide, okay, I want to purchase this. The agent on the other end says, that's perfect. Could you please share me similar set of demographic and attribute details, which I do. And then we'll come to a point where they need, DMI as the lender needs access to my bank account statement to actually underwrite me and then proceed with this loan transaction. So when that comes up, I decide to share my bank statement via an account aggregator rather than a physical copy or a PDF statement, which we've done so far, which is what we've done so far. And now I register with FinView. Once I've registered, I need to link, since this is a new account aggregator, I need to link my bank account. In this case, I want to link my Indescent bank account. Mind you, once you've linked your account, you do not need to relink it every time you grant consent. So Indescent Bank will send me an OTP to again authenticate me and authorize this linkage. It's extremely seamless. Once I've authorized this linkage, I get a chance to review my consent request and accept it. Now that I've accepted it, that data is electronically shared with DMI who underwrites me and then returns back with an offer that the agent on the other end can actually show to me and if it's acceptable, I can proceed with that transaction. So this is a very powerful moment for the Indian ecosystem and you have numerous players, numerous financial institutions actually coming together, many of whom are live. In addition to FinView and One Money, you have CAMS and NADL, which are account aggregators that have got operational licenses, and you can actually download the apps of these AAs from your Play Store or Apple App Store. And not just them, but you have banks, NBFCs, and various registered investment advisors that are also live with their applications. And this ecosystem is growing as we speak. Every single day, hundreds of informed consents are being approved and radically new financial services are being accessed by individuals and businesses in this country. And it's only going to grow from here. So now's the time for all of you to start building.